Six one yeah. seven, baby. Uh, for all my dogs, the nail you. My name's Coach Kevin. I run a t-shirt brand in Boston called Superfan Streetwear. Superfans is misspelled with a Boston accent, so no R. It's S-U-P-A-H-F-A-N-S. It identifies our customer, tells you what we do. We're the best in New England. We make the best t-shirts. Uh, we have a street team, hence the name Streetwear. Our designs kind of cross over into uh, all demographics, as long as you're from New England or love New England, New England sports and lifestyle. So, Superfan Streetwear is a seven-year-old business, started the day of the World Series parade in 2004, when three million fans poured into the streets of Boston, and there's a, there a parade, we were out there with a hockey bag of shirts. Uh, it didn't last that long on the street there, because uh, we got shut down in 20 minutes by an undercover cop, but it really just kind of kept going, developed this concept, and uh, last year, in 2010, we opened up our first store, it's right here in Kenmore Square, of Fenway, where uh, where the Sitco sign is that you guys have probably all seen on TV, <laughs> and um, our street team can roll out and sell sell shirts from little carts after the Red Sox games. There's a big market in the last like 30 years or so, and uh, we're really the only one with a store in the city. Uh, we sell the Bruins, Celtics, Patriots, Red Sox fans, local pride. Uh, this is one of my Patriots shirts. It's an MVP campaign. We've been doing them for like five or six years. We'll pick the top two players that we think <laughs> might win the MVP that the fans want to support. And uh, so it's all Boston pride, New England pride all the time. I'm basically reflecting the passions I grew up with, which were playing sports, watching sports. Every kid kind of grows up and it's sneakers, hat, and t-shirt. Um, so when I was in middle school or high school, like I had my own kind of style that like either people appreciated or was just like off the wall. Uh, what I do now is you know, really it's like a reflection of that growing up. Uh, I've made product that appeals to others, but I first designed for myself a concept that I think is uh, is worthy of being put on a super fan shirt and then hopefully our customers like it too. Um, I grew up on music. We have a lot of musical influences. Uh, for me, especially like hip hop and rock, um, so we've got a lot of influence on that. And then um, everything we do is always prideful and positive. In this line of work, it, it is a daily grind. It's a labor of love. Uh, so where my designs kind of come from, the soul and the reflective of the of the local New Englander. Um, you've got to stay on top of the marketplace. You got to, in, in my line of work with sports, you got to know what's going on in the sports world, a little bit of the t-shirt fashion world. Um, and then just the customer service and the management and the, the sourcing and the financing and just the, the business negotiations. It's, uh, we like to play around that we work eight days a week. We've got six street teamers, we've got myself, we've got another manager. Uh, I'm the only full-time person, but uh, we do have some guys that put in full-time hours, uh, they're technically part-time, but we, we joke that to our customers that know that we work pretty hard, because um, we try to hit them on all points. We'll hit them at 150 games outside uh, the sporting venues here in New England. Uh, we go to bars and set up, we go to different events. We've got our store, we do wholesale, we do web, so I've kind of constantly managed our website and manage all those sales channels. So it really is, it's a lot of work. I mean, it seems glamorous on the outside sometimes. And uh, to, to the aspiring uh, business person or entrepreneur or designer or artist, but there is that daily grind that you really have to put in, whether it's bookkeeping, uh, you know, staff management, uh, business negotiations, whatever it is, you really have to put it all together to keep, keep it going, to sustain it. The Superfan Streetwear, it's creative, it's, uh, it's our brand is named after our customers, the Supa fan. So you're a New Englander, you got that funny accent, or maybe you just aspire or, or like that New England lifestyle. And our graphic t-shirts kind of are reflective of that. So uh, I believe we've, we've set out like the best t-shirt company in the region for your New England soul. I feel like we've seen a lot of people kind of step their designs up from basic block lettered shirts in the past where we've seen other people kind of establish and start putting a brand on their shirts uh, that wasn't done before. So we like to think that we're the first and the finest in the New England sports market and even nationwide. Like most, uh, most other cities, uh, to a point, thankfully, don't have quite the success that Boston does. So Boston's sports world has become title town and 
you know, so our business is so tied to sports. Uh, we want to really, you know, put out the best that Boston has to offer and New England. Uh, so we're like all inclusive for six states, uh, for, no matter where you live. So if you live in Great Britain or down in Venezuela, and you're you're a Boston fan, we might have the shirt for you. We have our website, and it's all under that Superfan Streetwear brand. Emails.